Good morning guys, how's it going? James here from Curridoo etc. Sorry if you can't hear me for bits and pieces of this video, it's raining quite heavily outside and we've got a aluminium roof so it's quite loud in here. Um, I just went live with the full Focal Audi Plex setup so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and if you haven't seen it go and check it out, it's my last video. But today what I'm doing, you'll know by the title already but I'm obviously working on Judy, some legacy stuff to do. Today I have got myself some fans and some LEDs to install under here. So we've got my amplifier and my crossovers behind the uh, you know bits of acrylic. If you don't or if you haven't watched my other videos, the reason they're looking foggy at the moment is because it still has a protective film on it. These are you know completely clear bits of acrylic. So what I'm doing is I'm installing some fans around my amplifier because it's getting a bit warm. And then I've got five meters of red LED strip to put down the sides of the amplifier and the crossovers so they light up a wee bit. Obviously I won't need all five meters but it was just cheap to buy one big roll. So we'll see how we go. Uh, let's, how I'm wiring it up, the LEDs are going to be wired uh, per suggestion by a viewer to the, actually I'll wire it to the same power supply as this light so that it only turns on and off when the boot is open. And the fans are just going to be hooked up to uh, like remote turn on with the amplifier so they turn on with the amplifier um, not straight off the head unit I will be using a relay to turn these on and the amplifier so that's what I've got to do today so let's, uh, let's see where possibly these fans could go that comes off right so these are little I bought these off trade me they are supposedly little cooling fans for you know computer CPUs they are 40 mils by 40 mils and they run off 12 volts and I've tested them they actually go pretty decent I bought three I didn't know how many I would need where how many I could fit in here I may end up getting a fourth who knows but air needs to travel from this end through to this end so obviously I can definitely fit like one sort of here maybe one here and then I don't know what maybe one at the end here somewhere honestly it's just an issue because there's so much um there's all the wiring and stuff in the way so getting them in here is a wee bit tricky maybe I could put one straight there by the intake one next to it and then one at the exhaust because I haven't really got much room at the exhaust end here because I need to retain this piece of foam with this clip in it because that's what the panel you know clips down into which is actually coming a wee bit loose I thought maybe I could either put maybe I could get a fourth one because I could put obviously one down in there it's really hard to see and then maybe I could somehow get another one under this piece of foam like because at the moment I've still got some structure under there supporting it but maybe I could cut that out and have it resting on this don't know can I get to it to it this end Okay guys, so I've been working on it for a while now and um, I decided to stop filming a while ago just because I decided that it was, you know, really tedious work, you guys wouldn't have been able to see anything and then I was kind of figuring it out as I was going anyway. So here's where I'm up to now. I've got, now it's going to be really hard to see, let me turn my torch on, one, 
two, three, four fans in. So we got the three little 40 mil ones, all mounted in, they're glued in place. Um, these ones are blowing air towards the amp, and this one here and that big one there, which I actually have got from home, uh, are sucking air away from the amp. So sucking this way and that way. The reason I've got this one on the right angle here is because this piece sits oh, get that out of the way. somewhat, somewhat like that. And so now this little fan is, and that fan is sucking all the air out of this whole little bay here with the exhausters. So hopefully that works. Four fans, I'd be surprised if it isn't enough. Uh, the wiring is a wee bit messy and hard to see. Don't worry about that one just yet. But over here, it's a wee bit messy, sorry, but it's really hard to see. Down in the corner there, I've got a relay. And the remote wire for the amp goes into the relay, turns it on, and then the relay allows a permanent wire from the amplifier pass through, to t which powers the fans and now turns the amp on as well. So the remote wire triggers it which turns on the amp and the four fans all at once. The other thing I have done is I've ran a wire from this light up here down with the factory loom and out here. This is going to be the switching ground for the LEDs because up there that light turns on when the ground, when the switching ground turns on. So when I open the boot, this ground will switch on and the lights will light up. The LEDs will then be wired up to permanent. I've also got one side of the LEDs kind of done. Here's the crossovers. I've just got an LED strip running all the way around the outside of it. Shouldn't be able to see them when the panel is back over top of them, but um, we'll see if it works or not. Uh, I haven't extended the wires out yet, but I've got to extend these wires out across to here. And this is, as I say, my switching ground, and I'll get a permanent supply from this red wire here. So we're getting there. The fan side of things is done. The LEDs aren't quite done yet though. So I think what I'll do now is I could probably actually glue this thing back down in place. Since I did spend a lot of time at the beginning uh, ungluing it and getting all this, most of the glue off the metal there. So I can re-RTV this back into place and then like, and then start running the LEDs around the outside of here, extend the wires and connect them up to my ground and my permanent. And then we should be able to put it back together. Okay guys. LEDs are all wired up. I'm about to do my first test. Theoretically, if I uh, just push this button, uh, maybe I need to re-snip it like this. Okay, so that's as if the door is closed, and then I release it, and the lights turn on. Sweet. If I snip it, oh wait, I can just do that here. Oh wait, maybe. Maybe I need the other doors closed as well. Oh, that's not closing properly because of this. Okay, that is still there. Why is it? Let's actually try closing it, see if it makes a difference. I figured it out, it's actually all okay. They do turn off. It just takes a bit longer than usual because uh, this car has like a timing system in it to stay on. But if we wait a wee, a few seconds, it should turn off. Or what I can do is I can just lock the car. You see the LEDs there? And then they turn off. And then if I open the door, the lights turn on. So it is working. It's, a, it's all good. We got it sorted. So that's all good. The fans are working, the lights are working, I can tidy up and put it back together. I can put this panel back on. Um, I've already taken the film off the back side of it. So I'll be able to pop this on and take the front film off. Pop, pop. That looks pretty decent. Let's take, the, let's take this off. That is super clear. Can't even tell it's there. on the bottom of it. Oh, that's annoying. There is kind of a scratch on my plastic already. I wonder how that happened. That's annoying. Oh well. Well, that's good. Nice and glowing. And uh, 
before I put it all back together, here's one last look at how, what are the wiring is like. Just in case I didn't make it clear, so the LEDs are powered off permanent and their ground is a switching ground which goes up to this dome light up here which turns on and off when I open the boot. And then the fans, one, two, you can see better there, that one is filling in that channel now. Three and four, the big one. Those two are sucking air out and blowing out the channels, those two are blowing it past the amp. Those all powered off a off permanent, or off a switching permanent from the relay down in the corner I've installed down there. That should make sense. So yeah, it's a wee bit messy but it's all good to go, I can put it back together now. Okay guys, so the boot's pretty much done. I'm gonna leave the music running for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes at a medium volume and see how hot the amp gets. But it's looking pretty sweet. I'm real happy with how that turned out. Glossy and clean. Crossovers look good. I'm happy. Can you see both of them there? So let's have a listen in about 15 minutes and see what the amp's like. Okay guys, so this is the test to see if my fans are working. It's been in five minutes or so. Normally by now the amp would be getting a wee bit warm uh, just from playing music at this volume for a decent amount of time. So I'm going to lift the cover off and have a feel of it and see what I think. Just need to lift this one up so I can get my hand down here carefully. Pop that up. Okay. Ooh. Warm, but definitely not as hot as uh, usual. I can actually, right here, feel the breeze coming past it. Yeah, definitely warm, but knowing not as hot as it was getting. So that's good. I do believe they are working. And I think, obviously, amps are meant to get a wee bit hot. That's why they're heat sinks, because they have to just dissipate the heat. That's good. That's working well. There we go. Oh no, what's happened? I see, oh god, something's happened. We have lost some LEDs. Stay. That's all done, done. Fans are working, LEDs are working. So, yes, I am very happy with how this has turned out, guys. It looks amazing. Fans are all working. I feel like I've succeeded for the day. I am slightly sketched, not sketched out, but like, you know, I am aware of the fact that someday I'm going to have to change these crossovers out for the Focal PS165 F3 crossovers, which are the same size, but just, it means I just have to take these ones out, put the new ones in, and run new wires all the way to the front as well, at some point. But other than that, the boot is pretty much done. I can put that tray thing back in. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about the reason I have this tray is because I do, my family does have a dog. I do not want him damaging anything that's in here, obviously. And also because, you know, he gets hair everywhere and hair sticks to that carpet stuff like, you know, like glue, whereas on this uh, mat thing it's pretty easy to vacuum off. So that's why I do have this. And then I've got this cargo net because otherwise the tools and stuff I have in here slide around. Boot done. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like the way I did it. Leave me a comment, let me know. Remember you can check out my Facebook page and support me on Patreon. Thank you guys for watching. Choose to be happy and I'll catch you in the next video. Kakitano.